I know, cheesy, but at least you know what this lesson is going to be about. In this lesson, we're going to cover not just any kind of ion, but a special type called polyatomic ions. Before we define polyatomic, let's define just ion on its own. An ion, as you might know, is an atom or molecule with a net electric charge. And this net electric charge is occurs to the fact that this atom has either lost or gained one or more electrons. Now remember, electrons are negatively charged particles. So if you lose an electron, you actually get a positive sign. And if you add electrons, you get negative. So that's what an ion is, but what's polyatomic? Well, the word poly means many. So polyatomic means more than one atom together. This polyatomic ion acts as a unit in chemical reactions. Now remember, just like in math addition and subtraction, when you subtract a negative value, it's like you're adding. So negative and negative is positive. Removing electrons will give you a more positive charge. Likewise, if you gain two electrons, you're gaining something negative, so your charge goes down. Let's pause for a little story. Two atoms are walking down the street. Hey, I think I lost an electron. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> Again, cheesy. I just, I just love these cheesy chemistry jokes. When a group of chemically bonded atoms gain or lose electrons, they are called polyatomic ions, meaning it's not just one single atom that's losing or gaining that electron, but the whole unit. These are just some of the polyatomic ions that you're probably going to be expected to know. These are the most common types often used, but there are so many more. And that's it for polyatomic ions. See you next time. I got my eye.